For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Wednesday, May 8th, my name is Ian Kelly. These are some of the stories we're following at this hour. The Vermont House of Representatives has approved a Vermont constitutional amendment that protects personal reproductive autonomy on a vote of 106 to 38. Since the Senate has also voted their approval, the next step is for the proposed constitutional amendment to be considered by the 2021-2022 legislature. If it passes both chambers again next biennium, the question will be on the ballot in 2022 for the approval of Vermont voters. Brattleboro's Public Works Department says water service shutdown for Brooks House businesses and residences will now occur tonight beginning at 10 p.m. and extend into the morning hours of tomorrow, May 9th, with all service restored no later than 7 a.m. tomorrow. The following addresses will be affected 120 through 136 Main Street, 4 through 26 High Street, and 44 through 48 Harmony Place. The work has been rescheduled twice because of bad weather. Keene State College will award 810 undergraduate and graduate degrees to 770 students during its commencement ceremony this year. The college's commencement ceremony will be held on Saturday at 1 p.m. on Fisk Quad. Dr. Robert Putnam, author and award-winning scholar, and the co-founder of Moore Nanotechnology Systems, Leonard Shalock, are scheduled to receive honorary degrees at the ceremony. The Vermont Attorney General's Office says nearly $90,000 owed by Western Union to Vermonters is now available. This money is available to Vermonters who did not file a claim in an earlier class action process. The State Treasurer's Office will work to contact any Vermonter identified in this settlement to assist them with claiming unclaimed property and provide information about how to file a claim. Western Union was required to offer refunds of unclaimed wire transfers that it had not returned to original senders in a timely fashion. WTSA Sports, Mitch Moreland hit a three-run homer, and J.D. Martinez, Xander Bogarts also connected to help the Red Sox beat the Orioles last night 8-5. to The teams play again this evening with Chris Sale on the mound for Boston. First pitch is at 7.05. Cameron Maben narrowly beat right fielder Jay Bruce's throw home on D.J. LeMahieu's game-ending ninth inning hit, lifting the Yankees to a 5-4 win over Seattle last night. Those two teams play again this evening with Jonathan Losega on the mound for New York. First pitch is at 6.30. The Celtics, in a must-win situation, down three games to one and facing elimination, visit the Milwaukee Bucks tonight. Tip-off against the Bucks is at 8 p.m. For WTSA News and for Brattleboro Community Television on this Wednesday, May 8th, my name is Ian Kelly.